Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. Today's one is all about suits. So I'm going to show you three ways to wear a suit. So we're going to dress it up, we're going to dress it down, and we're going to dress it separately. So let the fashion show commence. But before the fashion show commences, can I get you to leave a like down below and to subscribe if you haven't already? I'd really appreciate it. Thank you guys. So let's start this outfit. I've got two outfits uh, lined up for you. I've got one that's kind of more traditional footwear in terms of double monk straps, and then there's another one that is focusing more on slip-ons. So whatever you're a fan of, maybe you're a fan of both. Um, so we'll go with the double monk straps first. So first of all, I have a white shirt on. White is a classic color, so if you're ever stuck for a shirt to wear, uh, white is usually your answer. Also, I like white because it lets your accessories express themselves. Um, whatever tie or bow tie or pocket square, whatever you decide to go with, um, white usually complements that. So bear that in mind when you are styling your suit. Um, my shirt has got a little uh, tie bar going across here. That's just something that's a bit more on the funky side. You can go with a traditional white shirt as well if you wish. Now I've styled it with floral uh, accessories. So I've gone for a floral tie and a floral pocket square. They're quite popular at the moment still. So again, if you're stuck for um, um, options in ties then floral is the way to go um, just make sure that it complements the suit that you are wearing in this case it complements my suit um, um, I like wearing lapel pins as well um, that's just me um, I think they enhance an outfit however I think you should consider them too um, I think they will enhance your outfits whatever you're going with so lapel pins can be an expression of your personality maybe you like the Avengers maybe you like flowers something like that maybe you just like the way the lapel pin looks as well which is what I do um, and it complements your outfit usually um, I've also gone with the tan monk straps as I was saying and a tan belt so um, always try to color code the two of those and hopefully it's sunny where you are so you can use the sunglasses as well so the second outfit is more of a high fashion outfit I would say so I've gone with um, suede slip-on loafers in grey um, you can go with tan of course but i i like the the grey it's a bit different um, you don't see it as often as you would see tan um, and i've gone for a white shirt once again as i was saying earlier white shirt is just classic it goes with everything and we've gone for a bit of a color pop here with pink uh, with a pink tie and pink uh, pocket square so as you can see this is kind of leaning towards a more high fashion look so maybe this is something you like or maybe you want to make an impression uh, you still got your, your three-piece suit uh, but the pink brings a bit more of a focal point up here it's it's a bit more eye-catching um, and it's just generally a bit more on high fashion side so again colors that might work here would be yellow but um, i think the pink is a nice punch um, and pink looks great with light blue as well and white so again when you are styling your suit just bear in mind of the colors that you are working with and what i usually do is i contrast so let's say pink and blue are kind of on the opposite end so you know they're going to complement each other it's kind of the closer you get um, and the color spectrum then they become a bit more um, the same so a couple of years ago the, neut uh, the neutrals trend was quite a big uh, trend where people are wearing the same tone but just in or the same color sorry in different tones so you could try that as well if you wish but i'm a fan of contrast and i like having um I like having a, a color pop where i can like for example with this so hopefully this gives you ideas anyway um, once again there is a lapel pin there it's a gray one and it's kind of close enough to the color of the slip-on shoes um, and again i always go with accessories so i like my watches and i like my bracelets but again this might not be for you for me i think it just enhances outfits and the way i look at the accessories is it's it's a conversation start as well so somebody might ask you where you got your watch where you got your bracelet where you got your tie and you never know if you are single and you're looking to mingle you might find your pringle so guys the chances are you bought your suit for some sort of occasion you had you were attending so you were attending you know, ladies day at the races it's your graduation it's a wedding it's a christening it's something you bought it for something, now it's hanging in the wardrobe and you're getting no use out of it. So we're going to take that suit out of the wardrobe and we're going to dress it down. So um, to dress this particular color suit down um, or your suit, whichever one it may be, we're going to utilize t-shirts and trainers. So it's very simple. Uh, it's a very simple process to execute. Um, I also put a pocket square at mine because I think it just adds that smart casual look. So all you need really is a white t-shirt or in this case I'm wearing a pink t-shirt whichever one you like or whatever t-shirt complements the color of your suit um, 
For this case, I'm just using uh, t-shirts to complement this particular suit, but you can use this technique to get more value out of your own suit. So um, I'm wearing the t-shirts uh, just with the two-piece suit um, and a pair of trainers. So I'm showing off a bit of ankle as well. So the trousers I bought were deliberately on the shorter side so I can show off a bit of ankle because that's the trend at the moment. Um, so if you haven't bought your trousers with that idea in mind, maybe you can roll them up or you can get them altered or you can just leave them hang. As long as they're not gathering too much at the end, it should be okay. But this is just a very simple way of getting uh, more value from your suit rather than leave it hanging in the wardrobe. You know, you're going out to, for a few drinks on Saturday night, you're going meeting friends in town. This is a nice little um, smart casual look that you can wear um, and hopefully it won't get you too much grief off the lads. And if they do, tell them, look, you, you look good. That's all that matters, isn't it? Another way to look at suits is you've bought a three-piece suit um, and that's three different pieces. So you might be thinking of it as, oh yeah, it's my suit, it's at home, it's in the wardrobe. But no, no, think of, think of the pieces. You've got your jacket, you've got your waistcoat in some cases, and you've got your trousers. So uh, we'll just focus on the jacket and the trousers for the moment. We'll leave the waistcoat out. So you can always use the suit jacket for um, an outfit as well. Um, use, it's probably a bit easier to incorporate a suit jacket as a blazer into another outfit. In this case, this suit is so versatile, it works really well with everything else. Um, I'm astonished at how versatile it is. Um, so it's a, that light blue color though is always, um, it looks so well in summertime. Um, and again, because there's a bit of white fleck running through it, um, it looks really well with white um, chinos um, and a pair of ice gray loafers. A floral print shirt and a hat so it's a really nice um, summer inspired look so maybe you're going for a meal in the evening um, on holiday or maybe you're comfortable enough wearing it at home i've styled the trousers with a pair of slip-on loafers and a print shirt um, and a hat of course um, um, i've become a big fan of hats recently i think um, particularly in summer they look really well um, and as on holiday in these pictures so you know you can always experiment with your style in holidays if you feel a bit uncomfortable at home wherever you are living. So add a hat where you can, I think. Um, again, the color uh, complements the trousers and it complements the print shirt. So um, print shirts are still quite popular at the moment and they will be popular for another while as well. So you're always, you've, it's always a safe bet to go with a floral print shirt. Can you believe it? That's it for another video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it's delivered value for you and got you to think outside the box in terms of your suits. Um, so there's a written blog post on fashionablefrank.com. Go and check that out. There's loads of pictures there and um, of course more tips and tricks also. Um, hopefully you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, stay stylish.